spontaneous and stimulated emissions consider a free atom which is in the ground state with energy e1 if the photon which has energy equal to the difference e2 minus e1 is incident on this sample then this incident photon can interact with atom in two different ways the incident photon is absorbed by an atom in the ground state e1 thereby leaving the atom in the excited state e2 this process is called stimulated or induced absorption once in the excited state two things can happen to the atom it may decay by spontaneous emission in which the atom emits a photon of energy in any arbitrary direction the other alternative for the atom in the excited state e2 is to decay by stimulated or induced emission in this case the incident photon which has energy equal to e2 minus e1 induces the atom to decay by emitting a photon that travels in the direction of the incident photon for each incident photon we will have two photons going in the same direction thus we have accomplished two things an amplified as well as unidirectional coherent beam i hope now you have full understanding about spontaneous and stimulated emissions Please subscribe my channel for more animations.